Okay, master suite. This is all of the upstairs framing we've done so far. Uh, demolition of this ceiling. Uh, all of this framing has been added new, as is that. Doorways have been created here, here, and here. Uh, so you're looking at the walk-in closet doorway here. You're looking at the bathroom doorway here. And you're looking at the water closet door there. Uh, here we show all the furring that's been added to the exterior wall so we can have insulation and electrical. And this carries through the entire house. We won't have any exterior wall that is not uh, insulated. We're going to go with a thinner stuff here, probably a rigid on these gable ends. Uh, but in the great room, all the framing or all the furring continues. Um, filled in a couple of doorways. The previous owners had it set up differently. We didn't like it, so we filled in all the doorways as needed. Here's the new laundry room wall with a doorway framed as well. Um, I've mistakenly told the children to stack the oak plank right where I need to get for the plumbing for this space. My bad. Uh, we're going to modify some of this. We need to carry these steps all the way over and have one more step up to that uh, elevation there. But we need a deck here so we can put an on-demand water heater here. Um, more framing we've done. We haven't quite finished in this space yet, but all the rooms are furred. The exterior brick walls have been furred. Uh, the ceiling has been repaired. You can see the bright, shiny, new 16-foot 2 bys that span the biggest bedroom for the boys. Um, there we go. We've spent the day cleaning insulation out of the attic space and clearing the top plate and making it so that when we go to drywall, we don't have to chew on stuff. So here's more furring and Warwick's bedroom. So these three rooms are ready for uh, <clears throat> ready for electrical. We're still ha holding off on this. Our contractor will get with us at some point and we'll demolish that wall and rebuild it. Thanks.